Hey guys, my name is Don and you're watching my channel Don Astronomy. In my previous video, um, it was about mounting my Sony A6400 mirrorless camera onto this dovetail bracket here so I can do some Milky Way photography. And what I wanted to do, because the polar aligning is so hard here in the south, um, and in order to do a bit of a cheat on the polar alignment, I wanted to use SharpCut. So it meant that I have to mount a little computer and a guide scope on that in order to do it. Um, so what I came up with was, in my previous video, I've mounted the camera, the computer, to this dovetail saddle. But now I've also put this guidoscope bracket underneath so my guidoscope can slip in there as well. And it makes the whole thing a lot more modular. So if I wanted to go from a normal telescope rig, I can slide that on. I can then put my computer on with this saddle. Then with my guide scope, I can either mount it traditionally up the top here, or I can mount it underneath. And you know, it does have some benefits in doing that. So that's pretty modular and if I want to change everything, I mean, I can undo that saddle, the whole uh, package comes in together now, so uh, which makes that extremely modular. It also saves a bit of weight as I'm only using the one dovetail saddle now. And when I want to do my Milky Way photography, I can put my camera in then I can simply mount my computer and guide scope on there plug everything in I can then polar align using sharp cap for the computer uh, and then once I'm polar align which is a lot easier doing it that way um, I can simply just take all this off again, unplug everything, take it off and then I can then just start shooting with my camera. This is an f1.4 lens so it's really fast. I think you can go up to 30 seconds um, without using bulb mode on this. I mean you could use it with a computer and go further but at f1.4 you really don't need any more than 30 seconds so which is fine for Milky Way photography. So. I'll find that once I'm up on polar line, that's all I need to do, and away I go. In my next video I will um, actually show a shot of the Milky Way, a test shot. It's not the greatest, um, but I uh, have some issues which I will tell you about in the next video. But for now I'm going to show you how I went about uh, creating this setup, and hopefully it gives you guys some ideas as well. So yes, I'm very indecisive. Um, I'm gonna go with this bracket after all. I know in my last video I decided I was gonna buy another one of those red brackets. Um, but what I may have to do, because what I'm thinking of is with this dovetail saddle here, um, I'm gonna take my guidoscope bracket off that because it's the same saddle. And all I should need to do is I'm going to file out this section here and then like I've done here, bolt these screws, they'll need to be longer screws to make up for that distance there. But that way I eliminate the weight of this saddle um, and then my guide scope should just be able to slide onto it like so. So the whole thing will be just in one piece, so even more modular than I had before. So that's the plan and I'm hoping it's going to work out better for me. One of the reasons I didn't, uh, wasn't going to go with this originally with this bracket was because there wasn't going to be enough width to put both of these on. Um, and in this case, I'm probably going to have to, you know, 
in order to get the extra length I need, uh, now that I've only got the one dovetail saddle, I really only need that much and that should slide straight onto the saddle okay. But what I do have to do is you can see that screw doesn't go all the way in. Uh, I'm going to have to get that bolt. I'm going to have to bore this out probably to about half that distance, enough to at least for that head, the hex head to go through. So it will be roughly around there. Now I'll probably have to also cut that thread off a little bit too in order for it to uh, go back onto my mount. So let's see how we go. Supposed to screw through there, you idiot. Okay, I'm back and I've filed that section out and I made a complete screw up of this. Um, I started drilling the wrong side. Doesn't matter though, the bolt still fits through and is recessed. So it shouldn't matter too much. I'll have to find out if I need to cut this thread down or not. But Let's see how we go now. Okay, so now I'm going to put in my fine scope brackets. Do I want be careful of the way I face this? So that will go on. So, so we need to face this out that way as well. And I found some slightly longer screws that will go in there. Looks like it's going to fit. It's just shy of that, which is good. And my computer will hopefully now mount onto that. 